All right, space humans. What we got here, we have a, a queen issue. This is the hive from which I pull my frames for the free beekeeping demonstrations every Friday at 12.30, 1.30, and 2.30 here at the farm. And when you take apart a hive and you leave it open for 30 minutes three times in one day, every time you pull the queen out, you're gonna have some kind of issues. I caused an issue for myself. So, um, we have probably one of those demonstrations, ran a little too long, and I, um, this hive is now queenless. It has been for a little while. So I'll give it a little smoke on the top and the bottom. And then go right into the bottom here, to the frame that I, I wanna show you. And this is usually how I would run an inspection. I'd go right to the bottom, go right to where the brood is. Now the brood is like, where it is, is like a hard boiled egg that you've overcooked too much. The bottom part is gonna be where the brood is. You've overcooked it so there's that nasty green film. And then on the top there's honey. So right off the bat, you can hear them. I don't know if you can hear them. But then we have multiple queen cells. So taking a look at the frame, these peanuts here. These peanuts here are developing bees. I actually, just about a half hour ago, I took out one of the queens from this cell here. And I can take this. And so what this is, is they took the developing workers and started feeding it queen food, royal jelly, while it's in the pupa stage. It was destined to be a worker, but then switched to the assembly line of a queen. And now I'm trying to gently, for the sake of the video, expose the queen. That's being developed here. So right here, you can see, hopefully, the pupa. This would be like the cocoon stage of the, is it autofocus? No. Oh, dropped her. Of the queen bee. Now, what I'm gonna do, because it's, it's the end of September, this hive is not gonna survive the winter. Um, it's not gonna be able to develop or have one of these queens go out and mate successfully and then um, have that queen survive the winter um, for a couple reasons. Uh, one being that the queens that are produced in these emergency measures are never really of high quality um, and we would want to replace their anyway. Um, I can also use the bees here to boost another colony. So instead of running the risk of losing a hive, um, losing two hives, I'm just going to take these bees that are on these frames and just add it to another colony. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my uh, tweezers here and destroy all of my queen cells. They're of low quality because it's like, it was destined to be an F-150, a, a worker, and then they switched the assembly lines really quickly and said, all right, now you gotta be the, the Ford Expedition. The genetics are the same, the same way the chastities of the two vehicles are the same. But you're gonna end up having this 
four expedition with like bed liner instead of back seats. You're gonna have some weird stuff going on. So I destroyed the queen cells and I'm gonna take these frames and move them into another hive.